In this section, we will learn about star delta transformations, that is how to convert delta structure into star and star structure into delta. We have already seen the series resistors getting replaced by their equivalent resistor. But in some cases, we may not get a direct series connection between the resistors. In the network shown, resistances R3 and R6 or R4 and R7 seem to be in series, but they are actually not. So how to simplify these types of networks? In such cases, we use two conversion techniques. We either convert delta looking structure into star looking structure or star structure into delta. This is called as star delta transformation. So let's start with delta to star conversion. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Consider the delta and star networks as shown. The resistances connected in the star are calculated as R1 equals R12 into R31 upon R12 plus R23 plus R31. Let's see how to remember this formula. We want to find the R1 of star from delta network. Thus, always take the product of all those resistors which are connected to terminal 1 of delta upon the sum of all resistances of delta. Thus, we can write the formula for R2 and R3 as R2 equals R23 into R12 upon R12 plus R23 plus R31 and R3 equals R31 into R23 upon R12 plus R23 plus R31. In the similar way, we can convert star structure into delta structure. The delta resistance between terminals 1 and 2 is calculated as R12 equals R1 plus R2 plus R1 into R2 upon R3. Now, to find the delta resistance, we consider both the suffixes as two resistors. Thus, R1 plus R2 and then the ratio of product of the two resistors upon the remaining resistor, thus R1 into R2 upon R3. Thus, R23 can be written as R23 equals R2 plus R3 plus R2 into R3 upon R1 and R31 equals R3 plus R1 plus R3 R1 upon R2. Let's illustrate our concept with the help of an example. Find the equivalent resistance between points P and Q in the network as shown in the figure. As we can see, we don't have any direct series or parallel connections. We need to simplify the network using star delta transformations. Let's first convert delta of 9 ohms, 3 ohms and 5 ohms into equivalent star structure. Using the delta to star conversion formula, we get the three resistors as Ra equals 1.58 ohms, Rb equals 0.88 ohms and Rc equals 2.64 ohms. Now in the simplified network, there are two series branches, one as SCD and second as SBD. We replace them with equivalent series resistances. These series equivalents are in parallel to each other. So it is further simplified using parallel rule. Finally, we have four resistances connected in series. So we can simply add them to find the equivalent resistance between P and Q. Star Delta Transformation Take a delta connection with resistances R1, R2, R3. Take a star connection with resistances RA, RB, RC. To transform delta to star, the equations defined RA, RB, 
RC are given below. To transform star to delta, the equations to find R1, R2, R3 are also given. UCA just substitute values and you can transform one connection to other. Hello viewers welcome to another video. In my last video I have shown star to delta conversion with an help of an example. In this video I will show you how to convert from delta configuration to star configuration, or delta to star conversion. This delta to star, or vice versa conversion is very important, especially in circuit analysis, whenever you have to compute equivalent resistance, in order to reduce the complex circuit. Whenever the resistances in a circuit are connected in star or delta, it is not always easy to directly use series or parallel combination to find out the equivalent resistance. For this, we need star to delta, or delta to star conversions where possible, in order to reduce the circuit. Let us first draw a delta network in which the resistances, R, A, B, R, B, C, and R, C, A are known and we have to convert this delta network into star network. On my left is the delta network in which, A, B, and, C are three nodes. We have to find resistances in star network which are represented by R, A, R, B, and R, C. Let us write the formulas for converting delta resistances into star resistances, one by one. In this conversion, the denominator will remain the same for all three resistances. For simplicity, let R, T be equal to the denominator, which is the sum of all delta resistances. Here, R, A, is equal to, R, A, B, multiplied by R, A, C, over R, T. R, B, is equal to, R, A, B, multiplied by R, B, C, over R, T. And, R, C, is equal to, R, B, C, multiplied by R, C, A, over R, T. Let us take an example to convert from delta to star by using above formulas. Let's say R, A, B, is 20 ohm, R, B, C, is 80 ohm, and R, C, A, is 30 ohm. And we have to find, R, A, R, B, and R, C. R, T, is the sum of all resistances, and is equal to 130 ohm. R, A, comes out to be 4.61 ohm. R, B, is equal to 12.31 ohm. And R, C, is equal to 18.46 ohm. And now simply, we will replace all resistances between A, B, and C nodes. I hope you clearly understand, how to do delta to star conversion.